In summer 2015, I decided to change from a passive YouTube viewer to the role of an active YouTube creator. Since then, I learned a lot. Some things I believe are interesting for you if you think about starting your own channel. But most of it is also interesting, maybe even important for viewers. This is why I would like to let you see behind the scenes and discuss the vital question. Why to become a YouTube creator and why to continue to be one? The answering of this question should also lead to understanding some of the changes on this channel for 2018. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode around sensors and microcontrollers. It is nine months since my last update in April. Back then this channel had around 20,000 subscribers. Today it has more than 50,000. I take this fact as a feedback that many of you like the content it provides. I want to thank you for your support. What is the difference between a viewer and a creator? Or why does a viewer become a creator? Like most of us, I started as a YouTube viewer and my role was mostly passive. Apart from pressing the like button and writing some comments, I only watched videos, enjoyed it and learned a lot. My only active role was to use the content I discovered on YouTube for my projects. I did not bother about the creators too much. Then I decided to learn more about the new social media world and published my first video. I moved from a passive viewer to an active creator. As mentioned during my last update, it takes at least 10 hours to produce one video. These 10 hours are in addition to the time I used as a viewer to only work on my projects. As a creator, I had to invest these hours and my success was not big. The total time my videos were viewed was less than the time I invested in making them. The temptation to fall back to a viewer status was huge. This was the first time when the question came, shall I return on being a YouTube viewer? Obviously the answer was no, because I did not want to give up. I understood that I had to solve the chicken and egg problem. If you have no clicks, your video is not considered to be valuable by YouTube and it does not suggest it for viewers to click on it. And if YouTube does not show your video, nobody clicks on them and you do not get the needed clicks. After that basic understanding, I had to change strategy. This was the first time I invested money for this channel. I bought YouTube ads to advertise my videos on YouTube. So I paid YouTube, not they paid me. Now things started to roll, not without glitches. Here, for example, I got a lot of clicks because the keyword Arduino in my advertising led to the fact that many South American kids clicked on my videos. I did not get one subscriber, but many disappointed dislikes as you might imagine. Not a good return on invest. In November 2015, my budget was spent and the channel had to go on its own. And it went better and better. I also started to get many likes and even kind comments from you, my viewers. This was the first return on invest. Because I decided to read and try to answer all comments, this also started to take some additional time. I never regretted this decision, however. In the beginning, I did not monetize my channel because I did not want to bother my few viewers with ads and not get more than a few pennies from YouTube in return. During this time, I had to do the next investments. A new camera, a new microphone, new lab equipment, many parts for my projects and my mailbags. I also decided to broadcast on a schedule. This involved a lot of priority setting, sometimes against my family life and my sleeping hours. During this time, the way back to a viewer status would often have been the more comfortable and it needs a lot of effort to keep on. Also because the next YouTube thing hit me. Comments. 
not the nice ones and not the ones who showed me that I was wrong or I could do something better. No, the ones who made fun of my Swiss accent or my injured fingers, for example. Personal things which have nothing to do with the content of the channel. Even if their number is small, they had a significant influence on me and nearly made me stop. I know of many other YouTubers feeling the same. One result of these comments is my white gloves. By the way, you can help here by commenting yourself such insulting comments if you see one. The channel grew and grew. During this time I saw many new creators coming but also stopping to produce videos. Apparently the decision to stay a creator is not an easy one. During this time I started monetization and you have to watch some ads in front of the videos. Like that I began to get some money from YouTube. But other than many think, it is not a lot. Last year it helped the first time to pay for some of the running cost of this channel. Not for the investment, nor the time used to produce the content. And now we are already in 2017. The year started with about 30,000 views a day and it runs at about 60,000 now. This growth seems to be okay for a specialty channel. Many mainstream channels, of course, grew much faster. Which were the most viewed videos in 2017? The radar sensor video is on top, followed by an IKEA, a NextGen, a LoRa and some ESP8266 and ESP32 videos. And there are some evergreens like the Crimper video which was published a long time ago. What were the other highlights in 2017? The IoT App Story platform grew constantly. You will even see a new version coming out in the next weeks which supports HTTPS. I was invited as a speaker to the Maker Fair in Zurich to talk on how to become a YouTuber and in summer, together with an old colleague of mine, we made a journey to the Black Sea. During this trip, I also visited Florin, the creator of the Voltlock YouTube channel. Talking to another creator about his experiences was interesting. I was also visited by Richard, another YouTuber from Wales, who made a big detour on his way back to visit me. You find both links in the description. I hosted a do-it-yourself with Wemos Shields workshop for my colleagues from IoT Basel. And recently I was invited to do a hands-on IoT workshop for developers, which will take place next week in Zurich. And I got an invitation as a visitor to the TTN conference in Amsterdam beginning of next month. Also at the beginning of the year, I started my web page, sensorsiot.org. And I created my first entries on Instructables. Unfortunately, these are additional efforts and I was not able to do as much as I wanted. At the end of the year, this nasty question appears again. Stay an active creator or return into the row of the many viewers. Before Christmas, YouTube presented a special gift to their creators. They demonetized many videos, which just means the creators did not get any revenue from their newly uploaded videos. Like everybody, I was hit too. Very frustrating indeed. A trend which I see as very important accelerated in 2017. Sponsoring. In cosmetics and other areas, the industry discovered a new concept called influencers. They should do what their profession says. They should influence you, their viewers, to buy stuff and get paid for that. Together with the word fake news, this becomes a new dimension. Who can you trust as a viewer? If you look at some electronic channels, you see this trend also swapping into our field. Many YouTubers do reviews of products they get from suppliers. To be honest in this case is not easy. I tried it one or two times but decided to stop it. Instead, I use affiliate links where I get a commission if you buy products using the links in the description of my videos. This does not cost you anything more, but this money allows me to finance a part of my purchases without any strings attached. Because I do not owe the supplier anything, 
I can express my opinion freely. The winners are you, the viewers. With all this in mind, I decided to change my strategy again and get this channel to a more robust base. Last week, I started my Patreon page with the goal to get even more independence and, maybe in the future, reduce my work to return to a healthier and more sustainable life. If you can spare a little money, invest it into your favorite YouTube creators to make sure that they do not disappear or to change their site to work for the suppliers. Maybe you remember the sentence, there is no such thing as a free lunch. If you want to support this channel, you find a link in the description. Another thing I will change, I learned from frequent viewers that they include my videos on their Sunday morning. So I will try to keep this promise, but my videos will air two hours later in the future. This gives me a little more sleep on Sunday mornings. Summarized, for the moment I decided to stay a YouTube creator. I will continue to publish my Sunday videos, but they will air two hours later. I will cautiously work together with suppliers, mostly through affiliate links. This is why it is essential that you use the links in the video description if you want to purchase something from Banggood, AliExpress or Amazon. Additional support and motivation for all creators is if you subscribe, like and comment. Maybe you can even support the channel through Patreon. This would be awesome. I hope we can grow our community and have lots of fun and success. And thank you again for your support. Bye.